Hey Libra, this is Soul. And Libra, this is your uh, bi-weekly messages beginning November 20th through uh, December 3rd, 2017. The messages, of course, will also be for uh, Libra Moon and Libra Rising. All right, my fellow Librans, I hope all is well. Before I begin your messages, I want to wish all the Libras who celebrate uh, Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Please enjoy uh, with your family and friends if that is the case and there's, uh, you know, traveling to and from. Asking for prayer mercies for you and for your family. And yeah, just enjoy. The holiday season is upon us. So anyway, Libra, I was, uh, you know, generalizing and looking at your uh, spread here before I hit the record. I'm just getting that it's not, it's actually pretty good. But let's just see what happens here. I like when I'm reading for a particular sign and their element shows up because it gives me uh, some sort of clear indication that the reading is for them. So I just have to pull the messages together. Uh, and like I said before, look at your moon sign and your rising signs, although not mandatory, it may be helpful and beneficial for you. Or it might be something um, that resonates with you completely. And this reading here does not. OK, but the overall energy for some of you is uh, the four of pentacles in the reverse. So there's a couple messages coming in here with the four of pentacles showing up in the reverse. That's a recovery from some sort of financial loss. A recovery from finances also when it comes to possible love and affection and it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, tied in or connect to romance it could be you know with friends it could be with um, family members um, co-workers someone is holding or strongly withholding uh, f affection and love towards another person or it may be that uh, you experience this withholding from someone coming towards you now the pentacles is representing a uh, taurus capricorn or virgo male or female so it could be exchanges with those energies uh so there's two messages to this uh four pentacles showing up in the reverse there's a recovery for some sort of financial loss that's taken place and since i'm putting this up earlier uh for you it may be something that could be um you know th that you're experiencing you know at this moment the recovery is coming in from financial loss is from the six of uh, pentacles that follows the four of pentacles. OK, now it could have been because these pentacles represent generosity uh, and the six of pentacles is in the reverse as well. That's a completion for me that it still is some sort of recovery from a loss. Now, this could be a completion of a promotion or a pay raise. Maybe the four of pentacles is representing someone who has gotten a small bonus commission pay raise related to work and the six of pentacles validates the four of pentacles that's just the workplace environment and finances but i'm still getting some sort of uh severe yeah severity with someone withholding love and affection towards either you or you're withholding that love and affection towards someone else okay next up is two of wands this is two people so the two of wands is, you know, within the next two week period of time, some of you are, you know, laying down plans or trying to go set down goals and stuff that you want to, you know, achieve or uh, things that you want to manifest or bring into your life. This is usually an energy when it's in the upright about things not moving forward just yet, but they will be. Uh, and it also could be uh, something that's stagnant or um, not progressing in terms of a uh, romantic relationship or friendship or some other area or aspect of your life okay wands representing fire so maybe there's exchanges with those energies aries leo sagittarius male or female but the most important thing is um i do feel within a two-week period of time that there is going to be some sort of movement whether it's relationship uh related or if it's just you um planning or goal setting and then things move forward because underneath that six of uh, two of wands is the six of wands and i will talk about that in a moment but following the two of uh, wands is the page of wands so this is taking action this is cutting to um the truth getting to the bottom of the matter the bull representing um taurus so it could be you taking action someone taking action against 
not necessarily against, but take an action that involves a earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. It could be the swords energy and, you know, exchanges with taking action or getting to the bottom of the truth with a, another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. This is an actual person. It could be a fire sign since the cape on here is red and it follows the two of wands, which is fire. Now, when I say take an action, it doesn't necessarily mean negative, okay? Definitely because the page is showing up and what comes after that page of swords, this is someone taking action against someone, okay? Or this is someone taking action against you. And I do feel I am jumping around quite a bit here because I'm trying to connect the messages here. The page, this is younger energy, that could be a younger air sign taking action against an older fire sign. Queen of Wands is underneath that page, okay? The queen representing, could also represent male energies, but Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female is coming into play. I always get an older feel, so it could be a younger air, older fire. Two of Wands is neutral, but it's two people taking action against another person or someone taking action against you. The outcome could be positive or it could be negative. All right. But there is some sort of element of victory and success if it is attached to uh, any interpersonal relationship or issues. The Two of Swords, which is representing your energy again, is having to make a choice, you know, feeling like you're at a crossroad. Now, in this particular deck, the female has a blindfold on, but you clearly can see or you clearly cannot see in terms of making a decision or a uh, deciding upon something. It's causing a little bit of anxiety. You're ambiguous, ab ambiguous about making a decision. It may be attached to... Um, you know, again, a romantic relationship or it could be any other situation that is occurring, um, you know, within your life. Now, I could go deeper with the two of swords, but for, you know, time constraints, um, I'll just, you know, keep it limited to the messages that are coming forth uh, to me right now. And that's you feeling a little bit of conflict, a little bit of anxiety because there's a choice to be made. You have to decide on something. And you will because the page is saying that, you know, if it's related to making a decision, the swords represent decision and action. Decision making and taking action. So you are going to take action, but I feel that for one or two of you, it's against trying to get to the bottom of the truth or discover. Yeah, using that sword to get to the bottom of the truth, get to the facts. Finding out the facts. But you will succeed because of the six of wands. But you also have the strength card, which is a major arcana and it's showing up in the upright. OK, so you will proceed to make a decision, even though you feel an anxious or ambiguous at this particular time, victory and success. And then you have the strength. This is empowerment. The skunk on here, I don't know why it's uh, representing the strength card, but it's OK. Uh, normally, it's the Leo, the lion. So could it be exchanges with those energies of fire? Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female, that someone needs to make a decision about fire, getting to the bottom of the truth, cutting through any uh, unnecessary foolishness or bullshit. The back to this two of wands is the page of swords. And then it's the queen underneath the page. So this is two people having to make a choice or a decision about possibly another person. So you have victory and success again. And for the most part, the readings that I have been doing prior to yours, I've been getting a feel, though, most of the uh, energy in the cards that have been showing up supported like the, you know, the festivities, the holidays approaching and whatnot. Now, I'm not saying that... Um, it's not, you know, completely true in your case, but normally I, you know, I would get like the cups or something that would show up. You have no cups here uh, depicting emotion. So it might be that there's a lot of mental 
uh, activity going on, and that doesn't necessarily have to be negative. I think that because the Two of Swords and the uh, Page of Swords represent your energy is about taking action uh, and having to decide about something that um, there's a choice, related to a choice. Queen, as a separate message, could be, if it's not relationship-oriented, it's always an older feel, could be a mother, could be an older sister, could be an older father, you know, older brother. But this is a card of passion. This is a card that could be intense at times. Sometimes I pick up with the queen when it involves, especially with the love readings, uh, intense sexuality or intense sex, I should say. And there is a Leo on this particular card. I just happened to see that. But this is a card of determination. So it could be, you know, you finally make a decision because it mirrors the two of swords that you're determined to proceed or move forward. You have victory and uh, success before you. So, in, you know, even though I didn't get the cups uh, to represent any, you know, uh, holidays or festivities and, you know, depicting the emotion, emotional act aspect of um, the next two weeks for you Libra I do get the swords and it's your energy so I feel that you just have to decide upon something or you're going to take action against uh, someone and it could be positive or it could be negative okay but the overall general feel that I have for this reading is positive because you have the strength card you have the queen of wands being very passionate and uh, determined if it's not you then it's the fire sign direct that's being very passionate or determined and it's connected to your energy some type of way all right someone's withholding someone's withholding okay so that's what I have for you, Libra. I hope it's helpful and beneficial. And like I said, it's not mandatory to look at your moon sign and your rising signs, but it might be additional information there for you. Uh, with that being said, happy holidays again. Um, sending out a lot of love and light to you all. Until I talk to you again, Libra, please be well. Bye.